Hey there, and welcome back to Cosmic Crypto. In this video, we're going to be talking about Ravencoin, RVN. Let's go. Okay, welcome back to the channel. If you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Go down below, hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, if you can tap the like button, I'd really appreciate it. It is the best way to support the channel. All right, wait, bleh, Ravencoin, RVN. Weekly time frame, you can see. So, okay, so I was looking at the charts. Uh, I've been gone for a little while on vacation, trying to post some stuff. I did a video on my phone that worked out okay, and then I tried to do some more, and it just, yeah, I need to figure out how to do that better. But anyway, so Ravencoin, I looked at a couple things here I wanted to point out. So I'm on Ravencoin on the gate.io chart right now. And my triangle here is, we have broken back into the triangle. Yay, that's good. But if I go down to the Raven coin chart on the Bittrex, you can see that we are not back in the triangle yet. We're actually hitting resistance right now uh, at the triangle. Now on each one of these, we do have the trend directional showing a green dot uh, and the RSI is moving to the upside. Well, except for this one's going sideways. Um, so anyway, yeah, um, we're going to use the gate.io chart and say that we're back inside because I, I don't really like the Bittrex chart because when you get down to the lower time frames, it's kind of choppy in there. Um, so anyway, yeah, we'll just use this one. And um, it, either way, a re the retracement is coming in on the lower time frames. So right now you can see on the gate.io chart, we are running into that 382. Um, Fib level. So I had the fib. Let's go ahead and get this off of here. If you pull a fib from the top down to the bottom, the first resistance level would have been this 236, but usually you get through that. And now we are obviously finding massive resistance at the 382 uh, fib level. I had this red line here pointing that out. But you can see that we are just smashing into that 382 um, and really high wicks too. So we had attempted to break through multiple weeks now let's go down to the daily time frame but things are looking a little bit better i guess uh we do have that large wick coming in right here but now we've got some body candles coming in indecisiveness right here the rollover and um now we're just going to hopefully find some support here so let's do the fib from this bottom here to that high and right now we are at the 618 retracement the problem here is we've got the red Dot on the uh, trend directional here on the daily time frame. The RSI didn't even get enough volume or momentum to reach the overbought area, which is not a good sign, in my opinion. Um, and, you know, I've been saying this for a while now, is the volume is just weak. Uh, I mean, we barely got into the overbought back here on the 12-hour time frame. You can see that we had that large wick, another large wick right here. We ran into the 12 hour 200 EMA, got rejected uh, right there. Now we're coming back down to the 618 retracement. Go down to the four hour. Volume's just non existent. Uh, we started to get a little bit of volume in right here. Um, and back here, obviously, we had a decent volume spike. But uh, I'd like to see the volume coming in a lot stronger than that for us to get any kind of move. Otherwise, it's just sideways action or downwards action, or maybe if we're lucky, a slow grind because of the rest of the market is moving up at the same time. Uh, that's really the only way I can see Ravencoin moving right now is if the rest of the market is moving because the volume's just too weak to, to go anywhere. Um, do I see any kind of trend lines here? Yeah, I mean, you've got something like that going on. Um, I mean, actually, that's kind of like a channel right there. So, you know, you can take this line. Let's see. And we'll just copy it, put it right there. So we've got that, we're in, we're in this channel right here. You can see, so we've hit the top, hit the top, wicked out, hit the top, wicked out. Now we didn't even reach it. So that's telling me we are obviously losing momentum. I would not be surprised if we fell a little bit further. Um, yeah, possibly coming back down to that 786 or maybe holding, just getting a wick down to that 200 EMA right there. Coming back down. So, I mean, actually, I mean, if you're trading this, I mean, this is a perfect trade. This is a channel trade right here. You can just sell the top, buy the bottom, sell the top, buy the bottom, sell the top. Midline of the channel would be right there. So, I mean, that's basically just taking another one of these guys 
And um, where would that midline be? I guess you could do it right there. Yeah, that's probably the best spot. You got some resistance here. You got resistance, support, resistance, resistance, sort of support. Um, but anyway, so yeah, I mean, I'd be looking for a buy right at the bottom of this channel. But also, the other thing I'd be looking at is because we were kind of weak right here on this on the next attempt up. Um, I'd be cautious getting in right down here, uh, possibly breaking down out of that channel uh, because we were so weak coming up here. You saw that we hit the top of the channel here, had a massive wick, then we hit it again with a big wick, but then we came up with just a wick and we didn't uh, have a body candle close up there. So that's telling me there's weakness in this market right now for Ravencoin and this actually could be the time that Ravencoin breaks down from this channel. Uh, and if we move out to the daily time frame, uh, one thing I'd be looking at here is pulling a fib from the bottom bottom here to the top. And uh, if we do get that breakdown out of this channel, looking for some support around the 618 or 786 down here uh, would be what I'd be looking for. So finding support there or finding support right around there as we if we break down out of this channel. And that would give us our double bottom. That would actually be a good move, honestly, uh, to break down from the channel, find support of the 618 would be preferable, uh, and then getting our move uh, then to the upside after we get that double bottom in play. But uh, yeah, again, we have no momentum here, zero momentum to the upside. So uh, just waiting for that volume, otherwise breaking down. And yeah, I could totally see us coming back down to, you know, what kind of percentage move is that from now? Uh, 14 to 15 percent to the 618 and 22 percent to the 786 uh, so yeah just pay attention to that that's pretty much what i got for ravencoin again keep your eye on the volume it has to be higher <laughs> otherwise we're not going anywhere uh yep if you like this video please subscribe to the channel hit that like button share with your friends and i will talk to you later